Hello guys, welcome. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and uh, in this tutorial, I want to give you a quick overview of what is Salesforce Experience Cloud and what all you can do with this Experience Cloud. So first thing is we are going to look at the definition of what is Salesforce Experience Cloud. So as the definition goes, Experience Cloud is an online social platform that enables companies to connect with customers, partners and employees with each other and the data and the records that they need to get the work done. So basically, Experience Cloud is gives you a platform on which you can build a site and through that site you can either connect with your customers you can connect your employees with the customers or customers can be self cared as well as you can connect with the partners also when i say partners i believe let's say you have a business of iPhones okay now iPhone apple sells iPhones to costco it sells iPhones to walmart so there are different different vendors right they are selling the product of apple but there are different partners and through this experience cloud you can build a site to connect your partners you can also build a site where you can connect customers if customers have any queries or let's say they are if they bought a product from you and they are having issues with the shipment or delivery or the package that they received was damaged anything like that so you can have a site where customers can go go and create a support case or the, you can publish knowledge articles or some faqs or frequently asked questions through which customers will get the help they need this way the customer does not have to wait in line to make a phone call or to have the agent available they will get the support they need quickly and the other best thing is your support team will not be bombarded with some some of these calls and that will also kind of deflate the traffic from your support team so it is a win win situation not only for the customers as well as well as for your support agents and support agents can focus on more critical cases or important cases so what can you do with experience cloud so so through experience cloud you can build communities to gain deeper relationship with customers or provide better service by enabling customers to find information and assist each other online so as i told you that through this experience cloud what you can do is you can build a community portal or you can build a site and through that site you can have a chat enabled on that site let's say and through that chat a customer can connect with you and at the call center an agent can respond to their their queries quickly right and uh, so you are opening up a different channel to support your customers not only through the phone you can have the chat available to them and also by publishing these knowledge articles or how to do videos related to your products um, or let's say the, your product is around uh, iPhones accessories right so you can tell them about the new features or you can also tell them about if they are having issues using the accessories it can be either airpods or charger or phone case etc you can guide them what is the process of sending back the, all the, the product back if they have received a damaged one or something like that right so you can connect with your customers you can support your customers so you can build these different types of sites on experience cloud now trailhead is a great site trailhead is nothing but it's a community portal where people and also it's a knowledge based site where salesforce has taken this initiative of uh publishing items or publishing important information how to teach them through these knowledge articles so similarly for your company if you are in a, if you are a small business or anything you can actually build these sites to connect with your customers help them make a, a self awareness about your product and even the customers can create cases on their own so a lot of things you can do with this experience cloud now the next thing is what are some common ways to use experience cloud for customers so i have given you 
two things one i showed you about the knowledge articles that you can publish you can also build like a, a community of people or community of your customers who can help each other out so you can do that as well you can uh, you can also create a portal for the partners that will kind of improve their uh, deals uh, opportunities etc right so let's see what are the different ways or common ways to use experience cloud so here, self-service empowers the customers to find answers to their questions with a searchable knowledge base and work together to answer one another's question and solve problems, dramatically reducing service cases while increasing the customer satisfaction. So one of the very common use case of an experienced cloud is building a site which empowers the customers and you on that site, you're going to be publishing these articles and the blogs or also the FAQs. And on that site also, you will give your customer to post a query. And not only an employee of your company has to answer those queries, if there are other customers who already knows the answer, they can help the customers as well. So you can build a strong community just for around your product and this way customers are going to be get the response quickly because they don't have to wait on an agent if there is a customer already knows what the issue is because they have dealt with the same issue in the past they can help each other out and one of the benefit as i mentioned is it is going to reduce traffic and also reduce your service cases and it will reduce your support agent's cost because now you don't have to, you don't get that many cases because people, customers are getting their answers quickly through your portal that is going to reduce the need for that many agents. So let's say if before you were needing about 10 people to answer all these queries, now you can reduce that to five people. So you're reducing your cost and customer at the same time is getting the response quickly. So these are some of the common ways of using experience cloud now in this particular course we are going to be building several sites and through these experience cloud sites i will be helping you to understand the different features the different capabilities of this experience cloud so in the next tutorial we are going to build a developer's account and we are going to enable experience cloud on that so i'm going to see you in the next tutorial thank you so much